You know, running an organization is what Simon Sinek calls the infinite game. And unlike finite games where there are fixed rules and a clear endpoint, Sinek reminds us that the rules of an infinite game are changeable and have no defined endpoint as markets rise and fall, people come and go, technology evolves, and products and services adapt to consumer and market demands. In this type of fluid environment, demands can generate fruitful goals and initiatives. But unfortunately, this can lead to what Davenport and Beck 2001 call initiative fatigue as initiatives are stacked upon one another and end up failing because leaders, managers, and staff simply become overwhelmed. According to Douglas and Reeves 2010, the law of initiative fatigue states that when the number of initiatives increase while time, resources, and focus are constant, then each new initiative no matter how well conceived or well intentioned, will receive fewer minutes, dollars, and focus than its predecessors. This can impact quality, morale, turnover, and ultimately the bottom line. So what can an organization do instead? Well, a big thing beyond focusing on the right initiatives is to make sure that each initiative is successful before stacking one upon another. Here are a couple of tips that might help. Tip number one, involve employees in identifying areas of need. This includes leaders, managers, coordinators, and frontline employees. Too often the frontline employees are left out of the problem solving, planning, and goal setting processes, but they're often the most important piece of the puzzle. Tip number two, make sure there's a clear and written action plan that includes very specific timelines, deliverables, and assigned tasks. A plan will go nowhere without the who, what, how, where, and when. And as part of the plan, there should be ongoing meetings pre-established where KPIs are regularly reviewed and acted upon. Tip number three, ensure staff required to implement the plan are trained well. This includes leaders and managers. It's not enough to train people. There must be a system in place that ensures transference of trained skills into the work environment. This takes good coaching strategies that put heavy focus on supporting and reinforcing just a few critical behaviors at a time. Focusing on more than just a couple at a time can result in many of the same issues associated with initiative fatigue. Tip number four. And finally, celebrate successful attainment of sub-goals along the way. Like driving cross country, it just feels good when you cross state lines. Sub-goals can and often do serve as a powerful reinforcer that can sustain initiative momentum. Initiative fatigue is a very real phenomenon. Remember, if everything is important, nothing is important.